Hey guys, hey internet. Um, come and watch us draw and talk John Lennon. Anyway, welcome back to day 15 of 30 days of drawing dead people, aka taking celebrities and historical figures and turning them into zombies. Anyway, enjoy the doodle. So, John Winston Ono Lennon, born John Winston Lennon, otherwise known as John Lennon, was an English singer, songwriter, and peace activist who gained worldwide fame as the co-founder and co-lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist of the Beatles. His songwriting partnership with Paul McCartney remains the most successful in music history. In 1969, he started the Plastic Ono Band with his second wife, Yoko Ono after the Beatles disbanded in 1970. Lennon continued as a solo artist and as Ono's collaborator. Born in Liverpool, Lennon became involved in the skiffle craze as a teenager. In 1956, he formed his first band, The Quarry Men, which evolved into the Beatles in 1960. He was initially the group's de facto leader, a role gradually ceded to McCartney. Lennon was characterized for his rebellious nature, acerbic wit in his music, writing, drawings, on film, and, and in interviews. In mid-1960, he had two books published, In His Own Right and A Spaniard in the Works, both collections of nonsensical writings and line drawings. Starting with 1967's All You Need Is Love, his songs were adopted as anthems by the anti-war movement and large counterculture. From 1968 to 1972, Lennon produced more than a dozen records with Ono, including a trilogy of avant-garde albums, his first solo LP, John Lennon slash Plastic Ono Band, and the international top 10 singles, Give a Piece a Chance, Instant Karma, Imagine, and Happy Xmas, War is Over. Controversial through his political and peace activism, after moving to New York City in 1971, his criticism of the Vietnam War resulted in a three-year attempt by Nixon's administration to deport him. In 1975, Lennon disengaged from the music business to raise his infant son, Sean, and in 1980 returned with the Ono collaboration, Double Fantasy. He was shot and killed in the archway of his Manhattan apartment building by a Beatles fan, Mark David Chapman, three weeks after the album's release. As a performer, writer, or co-writer, Lennon had 25 number one singles in the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Double Fantasy, his best-selling solo album, won the 1981 Grammy Award for Album of the Year. In 2002, Lennon was voted 8th in a BBC poll of the 100 Greatest Britons, and in 2008, Rolling Stone ranked him the 5th greatest singer of all time. In 1987, he was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Lennon was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice as a member of the Beatles in 1988 and as a solo artist in 1944. Anyway, that's just a little bit about John Lennon. If you haven't seen the movie, um, Chapter 27, it is probably one of those movies that just kind of went under the radar, especially when you consider the cast that was involved. Um, you had Jared Leto playing the crazed fan, Mark. And then you had Lindsay Lohan just playing, playing somebody that happened to encounter Mark. Um, and I think most people, I want to say most people probably wrote off the movie because Lindsay Lohan was in it. But it was really, really good. Um, anyway, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that down below. Anyway, that's just a little bit about John Lennon. I'm pretty sure that you guys can sit there and Google your hearts out and discover so much more. If you know any fun facts, definitely leave them down below. And if you've seen the movie Chapter 27, let's talk. I would really love to talk to somebody about that just because I really enjoyed the movie and I, and I would love to discuss it. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe to find out who we end up drawing next and turning into a zombie anyway that's pretty much it i hope you guys are doing awesome bye whatever it is that you believe you're seeing it's not 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 real seeing things before they happen things are not always what they seem in this place so you can't take anything for granted